Hello and welcome to Through. Let's make our first organization and then we'll make our flow. After we make our flow, we'll add our endpoints and have our first flow. Let's get started. Click on organization. Click add organization. Provide your organization with a name. Click save to save your organization. Your new organization will list on the organization's page. Let's click on the organization and add an endpoint. Click endpoints. After you click on endpoints, let's click add endpoint. Let's give our endpoint a name. Through acts as an SFTP server or an FTPS server, depending on the type of endpoint you use. In our example, we're gonna use through SFTP. Let's select through SFTP. Make note the public URL, which is the host, is provided after you select through SFTP as your type. Let's go ahead and click save to add the endpoint to our organization. Once we add our first endpoint, it will list on the endpoints page. This will be our first endpoint. Let's create our first flow. Click flows. Click add flow. Give your flow a name. My first flow. Click save. We need to subscribe the organization that we created. To subscribe the organization to the new flow, we need to click on subscribers. Click add subscribers. Check mark the new organization that we created. Click subscribe selected. Once you've made these changes, the organization endpoints will be available to the flow. Once we add endpoints to the flow, they become flow endpoints. In the blue box, click add flow endpoint. Select your organization, check mark your endpoint, and we named our endpoint our first endpoint, which is a through SFTP internal endpoint. Click add flow endpoint. In the green box, let's add a target. Click add flow endpoint. Select your organization. Check mark your endpoint that you wish to add. Click add flow endpoint. If you created multiple organizations, you'll be able to subscribe them under subscribers using the steps that we used previously. Once you've added your endpoints, you'll need to configure the file path for each source and target. We can do that by clicking into the flow endpoint. Additionally, we can look at the user's information and keep note of the authentication information. On the source side of the flow, click the flow endpoint hyperlink. This will take you into the configuration where it says endpoint source path, type the desired file path you wish to use. In this example, we'll use my files. It's important to note that each file path that you add creates a new folder inside of through. Click on user. When a through SFTP or a through FTPS endpoint has been added to the flow, a user will be automatically created and a password will be assigned. If you would like to change it, go ahead and do so. You can choose to update the username or password. If you make changes, please make sure to click save. Once we're finished making changes to our source endpoint, let's update our target endpoint. We'll use target files. It's important to note if you've added multiple file paths to the source, you'll need to map those file paths to the target. Let's click user. As mentioned earlier on the source, when you add an org endpoint to the flow, it will automatically create a user inside of the flow endpoint. This is only unique to through SFTP, which is an internal endpoint, and through FTPS. You can rename the username or you can set a password. You can do both. Make sure that you click save after you make these changes. Let's make sure our source and target endpoints are mapped correctly. To do this, we're gonna click on the flow endpoint on the target. Click on mapping and ensure that the mapping is correct. In this case, we're using our source first endpoint, which is our source endpoint, and it has the file path of my files, and then I will map that to the target file path, which is on my target. If you have more than one source that you would like to map to this particular target flow endpoint, you'll need to click Add Mapping. 
Because the through internal SFTP endpoints are unique, they are allowed to have multiple paths. Once you've updated each endpoint on the source and the target, it's important to click View Push Changes. View Push Changes will push the changes to the flow. If your flow is currently being used in a production environment, it's always good to review the changes that you've made. Once you've verified everything is correct, click Push Changes to push the changes to the flow immediately. Let's test our flow. Through allows you to test your flow easy by clicking the three dots under Action, we can upload a file to our source endpoint. If you've added multiple file paths, you'll see the multiple file paths in the dropdown. Please make sure that you've updated the mapping on your target and flow endpoint to ensure that file delivery is successful. Once we select our server file path, we can click on the upload or we can drag files. Let's click on the upload and select a file. Once we select a file, the file will upload to the source flow endpoint. Once it's reached 100%, let's exit out of this window. Let's see if it got delivered to the target. To check that, click Activity. Click this arrow to see the target. To view the processing of the file, let's click Complete. File Transfer Status Details provides file details and file history. Under file details, it lists file name, file size, file path, and source flow endpoint. File history provides a chronological record of file delivery. Notice that the target says ready for download. This means that the recipient will need to download the file in order for this to be complete. Congratulations, you set up your first flow and delivered your first file. If you had any problems setting up this flow or delivering the file, you can always click on Help and then select Help Center. Thank you for joining us. Visit www.throughink.com slash demo to check out more ways to use through automated file transfer.